Hi, this is Lachami Kantiwali. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you a pop-up menu. How you can design a pop-up menu in Android and Material Design. So here is a sample application which we are designing in this module. However, throughout this tutorial series, we will be designing many more modules. So in this tutorial, we are going to design this pop-up menu. So if you click here on this see the ellipses, it will pop up a menu bar. It says settings, users and about us. And we will also implement pop-up menu action listener. So if you click here on setting, see here settings clicked. If I click on users, see here users clicked. And if I click on about us, it says about us clicked. It means that I have implemented here a pop-up menu into .xml file and then I have added a listener of pop-up menu into a .java file. So for getting started with the pop-up menu designing, we have to first start with the menu main. So what you can do, you can come into the resource folder, then new and then android resource file. So type here menu underscore main and select resource type of a menu and then click on OK. So if you click OK and you see now this menu will design a menu bar a pop-up menu you can say. So here we are gonna add uh, items into our menu bar. You can add item by simply with the closing tag uh, with opening tag item and now you see here a sample of menu pop-up menu has been created. Now let's fill it with the desired content. Okay. So first what we want we want the title. Okay, so I'm gonna give a title as settings and then I'm gonna give the ID and ID is settings underscore ID. Just close this item and now let's create another item. So it's an item and the title of this item is users and id type their id it will suggest an id at the rate plus id and then i'm gonna give id as users underscore id let's close this tag and the another tag is again uh, another item opening tag then item and then write there the title and then let's say about us and again we want id here and its id is about us underscore id let's close this tab and press command and alt a command and option and then l then it will automatically reformat the text now you can see here the pop-up menu has been created as a settings users and the about us right so let's close this menu underscore main so what you can do for this one close this one and of course we do not need android manifest here and one more thing i just want to remind you if you are working with the strings then we need to export these you know the hard coded strings into a string resource so what you can do you can press option and enter or alt and enter right so the option and enter in mac it says extract a string resource yes so here a string name is setting resource value is settings and then click on ok then do you want to extract this one yes 
alter and enter extinguishes and about us alter and enter extract string resource yes hit on ok and if you see here into the string settings users and the about us has been exported into string.xml file now we are done with the menu underscore main.xml let us close this now what we need to do we need to come into the activity main activity dot java file right so inside the main activity dot java file we need to set the pop-up menu support uh, you know the override function so those override functions there are two options either you can press ctrl and o then it will open a pop-up menu where you can write on create options menu right so see here and then you can hit the enter or click ok it will automatically add this override function okay and then here in last what you can write return true and before returning true we need to inflate we need to inflate this menu underscore main right we need to inflate this so what we can do we can get menu inflator and then dot inflate and then we can give in you know, the path so the r dot menu dot main menu right and then we need to pass here a menu perfect now another override function which we need uh, now one more thing I would like to show this one so let's run it then I'll show you now you must be able to see pop-up menu into your Android application so let it run it will install this application and then it will open an emulator a new emulator a new application this latest one so let us see see here if you click on this one it opens this pop-up menu it says settings users and about us but if we click on this pop-up menu on the item it do nothing right but you have seen in the previous application in this one if I press on any item it shows here a toast so this is what we are going to do here so we need another override function again you can get that override function by pressing ctrl and o then pop-up menu would come here but now we are going to do with a different method so it's really very simple method you need to just write here on options item selected on options item selected see here now just hit the enter now it automatically came here okay so what here we want we want to check which item has been pressed so for that you need to write here int id is equal to the item dot get item id right now we are gonna implement here a switch statement right so type here a switch and see the ID now let's match this ID with some cases so what would be the case 1 right so case 1 if ID is equal to r dot ID dot so the first one was a settings ID right colon and then just you know make a toast so what we are going to do here settings you know the clicked if it is not okay the break it 
then let's check another case so another case could be r dot id dot users id colon and then again make a toast so the toast is users clicked right and then break here last case is r dot id dot about us colon and then again make a toast and this toast is about us clicked and let's break this statement right perfect so now let's run this if we run this application now you must be able to see some response after clicking any items of a pop-up menu bar so let's first install this application into android emulator now let's see click on then setting opens it says settings clicked users users clicked about us about us clicked now you can use this on options item selected listener to implement any other activity or you can do any other you can attach any other fragment if you want so that's it for this video tutorial in the next one i'll be gonna show you how you can customize your pop-up menu see there is difference here okay if you see it clearly see there a difference okay that is black color and if you see here the difference it's a white color right so we are gonna design how we can change the background color and customize pop-up menu so thanks for watching this one and stay tuned for next video tutorial and you can subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into your inbox. Bye bye. Have a nice day.